All right, y'all, what's up? Uh, welcome back. Today we're gonna be working on the Forerunner again. And uh, I'm just gonna flip the camera around to show you guys my dirty beast. There she is. Look at that. Yes. That's exactly why I bought this rock deflector. I swear I must have hit that while it was falling. Anyway, um, today we are going to add on a uh, recovery shackle on the back here. And it's going to go right in here. This is a two inch receiver. And what I have with me today is an Agency 6 uh, recovery shackle um, with a uh, D-ring shackle here. And it looks pretty nice. And I think it's going to go good with the truck. So let's go ahead and uh, put that on in just a second. There's also a pin here. and a smaller pin to lock that in place. But as you know, nice expensive things often get stolen. So what I bought to accompany that is this locking pin from Bulletproof. Um, it'll be my locking shackle pin so they can't just unpin it and pull it out and walk away with it because you know that's a pain in the butt I'm sure some of you watching have dealt with it before so let's go ahead and get it installed boom a6 agency 6 so this fits perfectly in there and I only have room for one pin some bigger trucks and bigger setups require two or more, but in my case, it's only one. So this is my bulletproof hitch here. Hitch pin. Tied down by two zip ties. And this is a 5 8 inch um, pin. So let's go ahead and open it up and get it hooked in. So on the end is a black cap that keeps your keyhole area sealed. To protect it from debris and the rain and everything so that's what it looks like so what you do let's stick this key in here all right to open it up you're gonna get the key inside and you're going to turn it clockwise to the right. That unlocks it and then you just pull it apart. There it goes. So this is what it looks like and you can see inside when I turn the key counterclockwise the inner part will close and lock on the tip of this pin here. Y'all see that? Boom. Clockwise, counterclockwise to lock. Clockwise to unlock, counterclockwise to lock. So, now that I've gotten that apart, let's go ahead and fit that through our little pinhole here. Boom, all the way across. Comes out over here.
Then you're going to get this side on. You're going to push in and turn counterclockwise to lock, but it does have to be on there just right. So make sure you push it in firmly. That wasn't firm enough. All right, that's on there pretty tight. So what I did was when I was pushing it together, I was also kind of shimming it back and forth while I was pushing it in and that allowed it to, to stay put. So I guess it just sits like that. And then this cover is gonna go on to protect the keyhole from any dust or debris that might compromise the key opening. And you could definitely plasti dip this um, locking pin to match the rest of the truck, but that looks all right. Uh, and one final thing that you should do is it's pretty easy for people to just untwist this, pull the pin out, and walk away with your D ring shackle, as you can see. So I'm tightening it by turning it clockwise and to really keep it in place make sure you have a um, a screwdriver here and you're gonna stick it through turn that up you're gonna stick it through and then kind of tighten it down a little bit tighter than you would be able to by just using your fingers Now this isn't going to be perfect, but it hopefully will deter a lot of thieves from just simply trying to open it up with their fingers. Okay. Yeah, that's on there pretty good. Okay, great. So, but if you want to keep this on permanently or really tight, you could probably use some Loctite or anything similar to that. But anyway, we have our new recovery shackle on. It's secure. It doesn't bulge out from the truck very much. You see those uh, toe balls that really stick out on the end but this looks all right so one thing I like to do is um, after I got the pin in here uh, that pin keeps the the whole locking shackle pin from sliding left to right as you saw earlier and I just put a little uh, ballast all like right there to have it slide in easily and I also like to just kind of use it in areas where there's gonna be a lot of uh, rubbing of metal on metal and so let's uh, put a little bit through there and in this keyhole here I love this stuff it just lubricates everything it keeps it clean boom maybe a little bit right here too There, that should do it. All right, thanks for watching everybody.
Anyway guys, a quick video on messing around with the truck there. It's probably time to give her a little wash, so thanks for tuning in.